Yard with Rancher Banyan. Uh, we're out on this beautiful winter evening uh, just to give you a little preview of our cattle out on this amazing winter night. Uh, we've got some stockpile grass here uh, from this uh, warm burst that we've had in late February, early March. And Rancher Banyan's just teaching us a little bit about what to look for uh, when it comes to manure. And keeping the cattle full during this time of year. So right now what we're looking at is uh, their manure pads and then their body condition as far as the triangle there uh, in their back section of their rumen to tell how full their rumen is. And tonight all the cows' rumens are out, meaning they're full. Okay. And, and even though they're still grazing, that's all right because they'll lay down here and ruminate here after dark. So anyway, with the stockpile, to talk about the stockpile, they're not just getting green rich grass. We left all this behind back in November. They weren't in here. Uh, it's been since November. So the green stuff's kind of come through the old stuff, but this is kind of like, this is hay right here. And they're getting a bite of both. So it's a perfect combination to kind of get you um, a manure pat, which is something like that, which is actually pretty darn good for this time of year. That one's a little bit more stacked, if you were to say, but that's that's really good. Um, Can you tell us more about that? Uh, this one here, it's starting to get a dibble in the middle. The little bit deeper of a dibble is kind of the best. Um, maybe uh, this one here, okay. up here, is a little bit thicker. All right, so you uh, let this paddock rest for 90 days, Banyan, to have this stockpile? Yeah, November's middle of November to right, now, right. and it's March. So. Perfect. Um, so anyway, this one's got more dibbles. It's a, it's still a little bit stacked. It's not as thin, but that's a really good manure pad versus, uh, well, there's none that are stacked. Anyway, when they're on full feed of hay and all they're eating is hay, then they're just big clumps. And big clumps mean they're just getting enough to keep them full, but they're not gaining anything. This is, this is starting to get to look like gaining manure. So can you tell dating. us a little bit more about that triangle that Greg Judy taught you about last week? Uh, the triangle, yeah. Yeah, can we walk over this way? Alright. I don't know the exact name for the, what they call the triangle, but I call it the triangle on their back end. That's their rumen area. So see his? He's got a little bit, but see right there how it's out? It can be sunken in completely, meaning he's starving. And can you? Be, all right. Yeah, see how it's, yeah, it's flopping a little bit. It's not He's not completely full, but they don't need to be completely full because that means they've had way too much. Okay. Um, but as far as sunken in, there's none of them. I've walked through a good bit of them tonight, and they're all nice nice and out, meaning they're supplied for the so day. So this triangle is near the back end of the body? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, it's the rumen. It's how, it shows you how full the rumen is. That's right. where the rumen section is. Okay, so you're learning quite a bit from Greg about that and making sure the cattle yeah. are full. And um, it's very important. Another reason is, I guess, uh, too, how I know is if I show up in the the gator and they're not screaming at me hungry, then uh, <laughs> they're, they're fine. Uh, That's so, right. Nobody's screaming you know, tonight. They're quiet and happy tonight. So Wonderful. All right. Uh, happy girls. Happy babies. Happy calves. Happy steer. Happy rancher banyan. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. All right. Well, thank you, Banyan, for sharing your new knowledge. Thanks to Greg and Jan Judy for coming out to help us at Blu-ray Ranch as we yeah. build our grass-fed, grass-finished uh, herd, uh, grow our herd holistically, rotational grazing, utilizing the land and nature to support these beautiful animals um, the right way. So join us again to learn more about what we're doing here at Blu-ray Ranch. Thank you so much. We'll see you. Bye-bye.